So we are, we are live from the quarantine zone, the quarantine, as we're starting to call it here at Trinity for Warriors. And um, there's a lot of new stuff coming out every day. I know that uh, the, the rules are constantly changing here in Oregon, but we're focused on, uh, on, on, on taking the next step for ourselves, which is sharpening the sword, um, working on your physical and mental health, creating routines and structure, and, um, and, and doing the utmost to make, to make the most out of this time that you have um, where your, your options have been narrowed. And uh, the story for today is one of my favorite stories uh, that, that I've uh, ever told here at Training for Warriors. Uh, this is about uh, a, a great violinist named Paganini. And uh, Paganini has, uh, uh, was a great composer and a performer, he was a soloist. He was, this is in Italy uh, a few hundred years ago. And uh, he uh, put on great concerts, he wrote great music, and he had a, a large violin collection. And uh, he, fell, he fell ill, and as his death was coming up, he uh, took his violin collection and he started to give his violins to uh, the other violinists of his day and, uh, as a gift so that they could continue to, to make music with them and, and, and play them the way that he wanted to play them. Uh, because he's just a consummate artist and wanted to see uh, everyone uh, do their best and become their best and have the best tools. He took his... Uh, his favorite violin, and he gifted it to the city of Genoa. Um, I'll get that wrong, but the, uh, the, the Italian city. And uh, the, the city accepted his gift, his favorite violin, and, uh, and they held on to it. And they put it in a vault for uh, decades or, or, or multiple decades for a long, long time. And they were, uh, the city remember that they had Paganini's violin when they went to uh, celebrate their bicentennial. So they were gonna celebrate, uh, uh, they were gonna have this huge festival and they were gonna have all these artifacts of, um, uh, of their history uh, on display. And so they opened up their vault and they reached in and they found a, a Paganini's violin and they cracked it open. And to their horror, they, just, they saw that the violin had decayed and it had uh, uh, decomposed. And, and it, the, the wood and the fibers are broken down and it was just moldy mush in there. And, uh, and they were not able to, uh, to do anything or use the, the violin to any, any real degree. And the, uh, the, they didn't know what we know now about, um, about violins and like the wood carries, um, you know, mites and parasites and, and things in it that decompose it, uh, the violin, if you're not playing. In fact, when you play, the vibrations um, mute and tamp down the, uh, the, the decomposing uh, uh, forces. So the, the parasites and the little enzymes and the things that actually break the violin down are, are muted when it's played. And the moral of the story is obviously, you know, your instrument is meant to be played. And right now, here together at 7.08 a.m., on a Monday morning, we're going to tune up our instruments, and we're going to uh, we're, we're going to play uh, we're going to play our song. So this morning, we're going to do a uh, some warm up, some mobility, and we're going to do a, a speed strength workout, uh, which would be a plate decathlon. And today, you'll have either an imaginary weight in your hand uh, to do the the fundamental uh, strength training movements, or you'll have a book or a five pound dumbbell or something small in your hands, but uh, uh, we'll demonstrate with both here. We'll have Coach Bootsy with the book, and I'll have a, a small dumbbell uh, uh, to help you out with that. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with the stretches right now. Can you make it on the big screen? It is on On the big screen. Sure. All right, so we're going to... We're going to do a three-way stretch right here. So you're taking a knee, and it's called a three-way stretch because you're mobilizing your ankle, your hip, and your shoulder at the same time. So I'm gonna push my back foot down to the floor. My lead foot's going to uh, press into the floor as well, and I'm gonna drive my hip forward. I'm gonna push that knee forward. I'm mobilizing that lead ankle. I'm stretching my hip. My shoulder, I'm gonna reach back. As my hips ride forward, I'm gonna drop my rib cage and reach back. So I'm gonna just, at a breathing pace, 
Exhale, reach back. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, reach forward. So I'm, I'm just gonna bob back and forth. I feel it mostly in my hip. You might feel it in your shoulder, depending on what's tight on you, but make sure that rib cage stays dropped, but you don't wanna flare up and lean back and open up your lower back. So you're gonna go, rock it forward. Then you're gonna switch legs. Again, lead foot pushes into the floor. Rocking forward with the knee, rib cage stays down, reaching that arm back, pushing through both feet down into the floor. Gonna go ahead and inhale, exhale. I'm inhaling as I reach backwards, my chest fills up with air. I'm reaching that hand back as my knee drives forward. I'm gonna exhale, and I'm gonna let that rib cage uh, drop my hand come forward. Just opening up the chest, opening up the pec, lat, opening up the, uh, the hip at the same time. Do that a few times. Now we're gonna take that thoracic spine for a little ride here. We're gonna do the archer. So I'm gonna lie on the ground. I'm on my, on my side, on my left side. My feet are uh, stacked, my knees are stacked. My shoulders are over one another. I'm looking at both of my hands. I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna follow my hand with my eyes to draw that low string back. Exhale, come right back in. Inhale, coming back, exhale. I'm a little bit stiff, so I can't reach quite as far. If you're looser than I am, great. If you're, if you're tighter than I am, no problem either. Just stop where you haven't stopped. Inhale as you pull, exhale as you push. Just like a push-up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're gonna go five times on the left. I'm gonna switch over to the right. Five times here. The pace is not fast. It's breathing pace. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five reps again. Excellent. Keeping those knees stacked, my knees want to come unstacked, so just make sure you're paying attention to that. Then you're gonna do a Cossack stretch from the floor, which looks like this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kick out my foot, I'm gonna rock backwards. And what I, what I mean by that is, my toe is underneath my ankle, I'm gonna sit on my foot, coming back and forth over my knee, over my foot, with my Foot kicked out, I'm gonna rock back and forth 10 times. And on the 10th one, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna lift that leg and tap. Tap that floor, so I'm gonna keep both legs locked. Lift, tap, lift, tap. And then I'm gonna do 10 reps like this. Finish with that side, walk over, kick out the other leg. Rock, rocking from sitting on my foot, hip over the knee, sit on my foot, hip over the knee, stretching that groin, stretching the ankle and the foot at the same time. Once I get to 10, I'm gonna lift and tap. Lift and tap. Now we're gonna get the uh, Pat out of the way, I'm gonna stand up a little bit more. We're gonna do some inchworms to get warmed up. My feet are about hip width apart. I'm rolling out into a plank, coming right back, touching the toe, all the way out, coming back, touching the toe, walking out. You're more flexible, you can bring your feet closer together. If you're a little tight, pull your feet a little bit wider. So try and challenge myself right now. We go five reps here. So that's five reps the intro. Now we're gonna put the feet into it with a little bit of bear crawl. So we don't have a lot of room. So all we're gonna do is, we're going to get into that four-point position. The butt hand, second bear rocks. 
And I'm gonna take the step with my right hand, and my left foot, and my left hand and right foot, and then I'm gonna walk back. Same way. So I'm just gonna fall back and forth in my 100 square foot apartment, which is much more realistic than 3,300 square foot gym. So here, we go back and forth for another 10 seconds. Just going back, opposite arm, opposite leg, button here. Keep moving, stretching those hamstrings. And then walking back up to a full length. Now this is fun, we're gonna do a lateral lunge. We're gonna add a toss that stretch into it. What that means is, I'm gonna step out, and I'm gonna drop my butt down, pull my toe back, stretching that hamstring, keeping that chest up, getting as low as I can, standing back up, kicking to the other side, dropping down, pulling that, that toe back, stretching my butt, ooh, I'm really tight on this side. Back to where I started, lunging out to the side, dropping down, all the way back up, dropping down, all the way back up, kick it low. Now you're going to do two more per side. Woohoo! There you go. Okay, now we're stretched out. We're loosened up just a little bit. If you have water, go ahead and drink some water. We're going to go through our speed strength circuit. We're going to go in slow motion for the first round, and then we're going to speed it up, obviously, when we start training. So is going to be my demonstrator. She's got a textbook in her hand. She's ready to rock. We're going to go through 10 exercises. The front squat, the overhead press, front raise, the curl, overhead tricep extension, lunge and return, back row, pullover, all leg V up. We're gonna do all those things in a row, we're gonna demonstrate them right now for you. The booty's gonna be in a front squat position, her elbows are gonna be in, her, her load, her club is on her chest. She's gonna drop down to a deep squat. Elbows are gonna be inside of the thigh, but they're not gonna be out here by the knee, they're gonna be closer to the hip. She's gonna stand up by driving her glutes forward, crushing that walnut in her butt cheeks. Do it again, she's gonna do 10 reps. So we're gonna go through 10 reps right now. Your pressure is on the outside of your foot. So as you sink into the floor, you should feel pressure in the ball of the pinky toe, the heel, and a little bit on the ball of the big toe as well. So you're gonna feel it in your whole foot, not just the heel or just the toe. You're gonna do 10 reps of the front squat, and then we're gonna practice the overhead press. So, elbows in, gripping that, gripping that weight or book. She's gonna drive overhead. When she pushes up, her elbows are going to rotate out. On the way down, her elbows are gonna rotate in. Chest height is as low as she's gonna go. When she gets overhead, she's gonna make sure that her ears are in line with her biceps. So, she's not, the book's not way out in front of her. You know, it's not way that behind her, it's just it's exactly over her head. So, head wraps there. There's no legs involved, and this is just an overhead press. We're going 10 reps of the overhead press. Then, when Bootsy's done with that, she's gonna go to a front raise. So, she's elbows are locked, she's lifting up her load, just into chest height, and right back down. Up, down, up, down. Legs are locked, so her legs are flexed while she's doing this. She's tightening up her entire body, not just the shoulders, which are active and moving. She's gonna do 10 reps. And again, this is slow motion. We're gonna speed it up for our speed strength reps, but I just want you to get a feel for it. I want your body to get a feel for it doing it right now. Then, going into the curl. So, doing a traditional curl, elbows stay in one spot, lock out the legs, lock out the glutes, Everything is on. The biceps are the only thing that are moving. So she's going to do 10 reps of the curl. 
And then she's going to go up to the overhead tricep extension. So <clears throat> once she's done with that, she's going to be overhead. She's going to notice she just switched her grip to a narrower grip so she could get more clearance and more uh, activity in the triceps. If you have a big wide tool, make sure you're getting as narrow as you can. She's locking out those arms overhead, legs are locked, glutes are locked, abs are locked. She's moving, she's going, she's going to the side. Good. And so we all have different levels of tension. This is really hard for me. It's going to be hard for most of us to keep our elbows in. So that's what I want you to focus on. Keep those elbows inside, close to your head, stretching that tricep and lat, really opening up the shoulders. Once you're done with that, you're going to do 10 reps. You're going to go to the lunge and return by the first side. So you're going to lunge forward and step back. So coming back to where you started, alternating legs, going back and forth. And that's a beautiful lunge. Notice how Lucy's knee is lined up between the first and second toe. It's not inside or outside. But if you look, her back leg is almost touching the ground, but not quite. She's loading all her weight into that front leg, exploding off of it, and getting that deep stretch. But you don't want to bang your knee on the floor, wake up your neighbors, or, uh, or damage that precious knee. So you only have two of them. And then from there, we're going to go to the back row. So Bootsy's in this almost 90 degree hinge. It's pretty steep, but she's going to squeeze the shoulder blades together at the top, relax them on the way down, squeeze them together at the top, relax them on the way down. She's going to do those reps in and out. She's going to do 10 reps here. You should feel tension in the hamstrings. You should feel tension uh, in the abs. You should feel tension in the upper back, getting those shoulder blades to completely squeeze together. 10 reps for your warm up, and then we're going to practice the pullover. Boots can lie on the ground. So, the, the beautiful part about a pullover is it's, it's an ab drill that really stretches the shoulder. So, we're here. Feet together, knees together, 90 degree angle in the hip. Lutu's back is flat on the ground, so she's pushing her spine. Her low back is on the ground, her upper back is on the ground, and she's keeping those elbows straight so she reaches overhead and stretches out the chest and the lats at the same time. She's training her entire upper body, including her you know, those internal obliques and lower abs. Everything's on um, while she's doing this pull. She's doing 10 reps here. If you're having a hard time keeping your low back on the floor, you can put one foot on the floor so you can stabilize and then keep going. And then your final exercise is the alt leg V-up. So, yeah, don't slam yourself when you book your weight because you're going to kick up your foot as high as you can. You're going to try and touch your shoelaces. Your shoulder blades are going to be off the ground. So you're going to alternate left and right. And this time, you're going to do five per leg, just like you did with the lunges. You're going to do a total of 10, but five per leg. Lucy's leg is straight. Shoulder blades are off the ground. The quad is flexed to allow that hamstring to stretch while she's, while she's working. She's getting all those benefits of the hamstring stretch while she's training her abs. And that is one entire round. So hopefully you're following along and get to do all the exercises with us so you can see how it feels. And then uh, and now you can speed it up. Now that you've got some level of competency and some level of comfort with those exercises. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a timer. The timer is going to be for 18 minutes. And we're going to go through that circuit as many times as we can, as fast as we can. But here's the thing I want you to remember. As you go through your circuit, it's about technique and then it's about speed. So make sure your technique is precise and that your, uh, your speed, you're applying only once you're comfortable in the, in the technique. So if you're still learning something, there's nothing wrong with going slow, figuring out a movement until it becomes really, really tight, and then you start to add speed. But we're not really worried about the weight today, we're worried about the speed and execution, because we're trying to increase the rate of force production and how much or how fast we have access to those muscles. So we're gonna be going fast today, and we're gonna be having some fun. I'm gonna go through a little bit faster on my first round, just to kind of get more warmed up. And then I'm going to go through really fast in the second, third, and subsequent rounds so that uh, you can see what the speed strength circuit looks like when you're really going for it. The, uh, the, the, the timer will be set for 18 minutes. My goal is to get five rounds done in the next 18 minutes. That's the plan. All right. Um, there we go. So you're going to be working out on your own. So what I want you to do is, in order to get yourself adequate rest in between your circuits, I want you to do some uh, active 
active rest with me. And I'll be doing that whenever I'm done with the circuit. So if you don't know what that looks like, I'll be narrating it. And so will Coach Bootsy. Because right now we don't have any partners to work out. So we're going to go ahead and just use what we got the way we got it. All right. And we're off to the races. I'm doing my front squat. And I'm squatting down, squeezing those glutes, driving all the way up, powering through. So I'm going to do 10 reps, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then I'm going to switch into the overhead press. But again, I'm going fast, but I'm not going super fast right now. I'm still making sure that everything feels good. I'm going a little bit quicker than I did in my warm up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Front raise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to the curl. So I've got my object, elbows on my rib cage, everything's tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm going to do the overhead tricep extension. So I'm back over here. I'm going overhead. Elbows stay in, nice and tight. Loops are on, quads are on. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Lunge and return. So I'm here. Two, three, three. Chest up. Hold on, weights in the front side. Four, four, five, five. So with that, now doing the back row. One, two, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top. It's a light weight, so your body doesn't need to use all the muscles, but you're gonna make it. Eight, squeezing the shoulder blades, nine, ten. From there, going into the pullover, boots is already out of way. Ten reps, little back to the ground. One, two, three, four. Five, six, keep the, if you're having a hard time having a back, keep the back foot. Eight, nine, ten. Now, all three feet up. Leg is locked. One, one, two, two, three. Touching those shoelaces, getting those shoulder blades popping out. Four, five, five. Uh -huh. Okay, so as you go through this, your heart rate's gonna get up uh, higher and higher, and I want you to get at least 60 seconds of rest. And here's the plan. When it's time to rest, what you're gonna do is, you drink water, and I'd like you to do some active, active rest by doing some mobility. So grab your, grab your, take a knee, you grab your foot, you can rock back and forth, Flexing that glute, opening up that hip. Alternate sides. This is during your rest period. I'd recommend about 60 seconds of rest every circuit. Be grabbing, opening up. Maybe about five or six breaths worth of stretching. And then calm down the nervous system. Then we can get after it on the next round. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit faster on this one. So, it's a speed strength workout. I'm trying to be quick, trying to be powerful, trying to be precise. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. We're going into the overhead press. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and do the front raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like we're going fast forward. Nine, 10, curls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Triceps, overhead. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one's kind of hard for me. Lunges. One, two, three, four, five. That row. Go over here. One, two, three, four. Elbows in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull over. One, two, go back slap. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up leg knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! All right. Two rounds down. We're going to grab some water. Again, if you're doing those stretches for your active rest. So you don't want to be sitting on the couch. You don't want to be just uh, buying time. You want to be using your time wisely. Victory position. That's exactly right. So, as your heart rate comes down, you gotta get those stretches, breathing, do some circles. The arms go back and forth, stretching out those biceps, stretching out that chest, get ready to explode for the next round. Let a couple more seconds. The reason why we're letting ourselves rest, not because this is so taxing, maybe your heart rate is up, but the motor neurons need a little bit of time to reconstitute so they can be powerful explosive and fast. So we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to get the most out of the training, which is getting enough rest. Now, we're getting back, round three, front squats, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Overhead press, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Front raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Overhead tricep extension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Lunge return. Got the left, got the weight in your hand. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Go from here to the bent row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then going into the pullover, lie down. One, two, keep that low back flat. Three, keep together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to the all leg up now. Legs are locked. One, two. Keep that quad lock. Three, four, five. Ha! All right. Another round down. Too easy. So, you're back and doing that active rest. So, you got your hip stretch. For active rest, you can also do a chest stretch, meaning I'm going to be here on the ground. I'm going to hug my floor. I'm gonna kick out and roll out with my arm underneath me, stretching out the bicep. Now, if you're super flexible, this might be easy, but for me, this is a big stretch. Good. I feel my heart rate coming down a little bit, that's exciting. Then I'm gonna roll to the other side, do the same thing, kick it over, five breaths. Uh, 
All right. So, got some rest. Hopefully, you got some water in. We get mine. Knowledge is power, guys. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is great. Precision nutrition. Yes. Back to the back to the beginning. We're doing the front squat again. And go. Two, three, four, five, six. Lock out those glutes at the top. Nine, ten. Overhead press. One, two, three, four, five. Legs locked. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Front raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Overhead triceps. And one, get those elbows in. Three, four, five. Elbows in, Josh. Come on, man. Glutes. Eight, nine, ten. Lunge return. Forward, back. One, forward, back. Two, three. You want to be explosive on the way back. Four, if you can. Five. Pullovers. No. Bet row. Bet row. Just kidding. Boots just keep me on track. Bet row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then pull over. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha-ha, <laughs> 10. All lay me up. One. Two. Three. Keep those legs straight. Four. Five. All right. Three. Three. I think you're right, yeah. I think it's three. Heather says three. Yeah. Nice job, Heather. Good job keeping track. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like ten, you know? All right, grab some water, Warriors. We're gonna bang out another couple of quick rounds. Hey guys, and just remember when you're doing those curls, even though we're going fast, get full extension with those arms, all right? No three-quarter movement, one full extension. No three-quarter movement. Full extensions. Let's go through the DHU's right. Well, that was a minute. Means we're going back to the top. Time for the front squat. Feet, heel, shoulder width apart, drop it down and go. Eight, nine, ten. Overhead press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, front legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the curl to the overhead tricep. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From there to the lunge. Explosive back. It's one, two, three, four, five. Back row, chest up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Olivia. One, two. 
Three, keep that quad up. Four. Five. A note on the pullover. You have tight shoulders. You have stiff shoulders. When you're here and you're reaching overhead, your elbows are going to start to bend because the shoulder has extended or abducted as much as it can do. And the elbows will bend here. So only go to where your elbows get stuck and then come back. So don't try and touch the ground with a bent arm. I don't want you to push anything. I want you to extend to the natural range of motion limitation and no further. So find that area where your elbow stops, uh, starts to bend and then stop there. You'll get more out of it. It'll be more helpful and healthy for your shoulder. It's better, it's better training in general. So do that. Okay, we're gonna get one more round in. That was round four. We're gonna do round five real fast. Hopefully you got your water. Hopefully you're ready to rock. Going back to the front squat. In three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lock out those glutes. Ten. Over press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, front raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Triceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Lunges. One, two, three, four, and five. Bent row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull over it. One, two, do the rib cage down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put that down, all that heel. One, two, three, four. Five. All right. You know what time it is. What? That was amazing. We got five in right on time. Perfect timing. What? Now it's time for homework. So grab your uh, grab your water. Again, we're gonna do push-ups, sit-outs, uh, knee grabs. And chin ups. If you don't have a chin up bar in your living room yet, what you're going to do is you're going to do some swimmers. So, Gucci's going to demonstrate the swimmer for us right here. So, she's pushing two laces into the ground. She's going to be reaching overhead, pulling the water underneath her armpits. Her hands are going to come right here by her rib cage. Yep. She's, eyes, her eyes are only looking about one foot in front of her. Nice and flat. This is good for your shoulders and back. So you're going to go for 20 seconds to review. It's 20 seconds of swimmers or chin ups, 20 seconds of push ups, 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of sit ups. So you're going to go through each exercise, and then Coach Bootsy's going to be in front of you doing it the way that you're going to do it in the living room. Just set up a makeshift couch. Go ahead, Mary. Okay. So she'll, she'll talk you through it. All right, guys, let's start with our push ups first. So, for our push ups, if you're able to do a strict push up, fantastic. What I'm doing is my, my shoulders are slightly over my wrists, I'm pushing forward. My feet are together, my knees are together, everything's on. My butt is slightly raised because I don't want to drop my hips, I don't want to lose my abs. Keep those hips up. I'm going to come all the way down to the floor and up. I'm going to make sure I touch my chest to the floor and up. Keeping those elbows in tight to my body. Now, if I don't have that, I'm going to go to a coffee table or a couch or a piano like Marina did this morning. 
I'm going to come down to my chest and up. Down to my chest and up. Same exact thing. Keeping those elbows in. Keeping that body one solid unit. Then we have our sit-ups. For my sit-ups, my knees are in tight to my, my wrist. I'm going to kick out. This back foot comes flat to the ground. Now I'm facing that way. Coming back in. Kicking out. This back foot is flat. Trying to keep that foot really close to that hand. All right? We're going to count this. One, two, three, four. All right? Then I have my knee grabs. So for my knee grabs, I have my arms in tight to my chest. Throwing those hands forward, grabbing my shins. Utilize those shins as a tool to bring you forward. Get those feet butt on the ground. Going back down. Throwing forward. All I got to do is get those shoulder blades off the ground when I do this, okay? And then we have our swimmers that we demonstrated in the beginning. Feet flat, try to push those feet into the ground, bringing those hands back to the chest. All right, so we're gonna do 20 seconds of each. Try to keep track of how many reps you've done in that time. We start with push ups. And go in. Get that chest to touch whatever surface. You're utilizing guys. Keep that butt up. Keep that body really engaged. This is whole body exercise right now. All right, we're gonna do our sit outs. Sit outs. I'm a wrestler. I'm pretending like somebody's on my back. I'm getting them off my back. Here we go. Get that back foot flat. Don't come out far from that wrist. You don't want to put a lot of extra stress on that shoulder by coming far from that wrist. Your butt's not touching the ground, it's about an inch off the ground. Transitioning to our knee grabs. Laying flat. Getting ready in two, one, go. Just touching those shoulder blades, going back up. Use those shins, your shins are your friends. Try to get those shoulders over those hips at the top. Get that nice little stretch at the top. Three, two, one. Going into our swimmers. We're swimming, we're swimming to the end guys, we got this. Three, two, one. Coming in, pushing those shoelaces into the ground. Looking slightly forward, really squeeze. Those shoulder blades as you pull that, those hands in to your rib cage. You got this. That was it. You did it. You did this awesome speed strength workout. And then you did your homework. Yay! Make sure to keep track of your homework, guys. I know all your sheets are here, but you can still keep track right in your phone. Make a little note. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oh, that was so terrible. Good job, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Finally, good workout with no um, weights. Yeah. I'm more out of breath than when I do it with weights. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know how hard it was to do with the book. It just creates tension, you know? Yeah, I used two old school Harry Potter books. Those are pretty dang heavy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. A gallon jug of water. Yeah, that works too. Yeah. yeah, we need like a Gutenberg Bible or something like that. But that's like 25, 30 pounds, something. Yeah. 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 All right. Stay strong. Uh, I expect to see every one of you on a call here really, really fast. That's good. All right. Okay. Have a great Bye. day. Quarantine. Quarantine. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. <laughs>